no longer the trade tower standing right there. You don't see them no more. They're gone. You know, New York City. It's like it's missing its two front teeth now and shit. We all had equipment, we pulled the shit together and had a little studio. So, and somewhere all of that, the bullshit just reached a point where it was like, me and I was like, yo, fuck it. You know, let's make a record. Let's make a record, you know, just fucking the whole industry over. And that record became Fun Crusher. It was recorded two blocks away from here, right at fucking ground zero. You know what I'm saying? That's basically where all the thoughts were conceived. That's where fucking all of the energy, all of the good times, all of the bad times, everything that was, every, every aspect of that, of that record was made fucking right next to the fucking bomb site, yo. New York is ill, kid, at nighttime. You know what I'm saying? And like in the 80s when shit was like, like the city's kind of, well, the city was peaceful. It's not really peaceful right now, you know what I'm saying, on the brink of war, but like in the 80s, when shit was fucked up and there was mad homeless people and there was crack everywhere and shit, it's like, I'd have to sleep on the motherfucking trains. So what happened was, like, I wouldn't go to sleep at nighttime. I try to make sure I get fucking cans, ink. I try to make sure whatever I had, I had something on me so I can write. And I'd literally write all night until I run out of paint or run out of ink. And I stay awake because you couldn't go to sleep on them trains. Them shits was fucking ill. And then in the daytime, when motherfuckers go to work, I fucking go to sleep because I was only about this big. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I ain't much big that I ain't much big now. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I was a little baby faced little motherfucker, and I'd go to sleep during rush hour while motherfuckers was going to work and shit. So I just looked like a little kid going to school. Kind of came up Queens, Manhattan, and the Bronx basically. So. uh you know, the subways were bombed in New York when I was a toddler, basically, you know, so it's been around, you know, I've seen its influence since it's, since the very beginning. So uh, it's like I just can't help it. You know, I started out probably, you know, five years old making like the fake little bubble letters and, you know, the little lines and the mark and, you know, it's like it's just a part of New York, like graffiti, you know, not graffiti, but just graph was just basically everywhere. So couldn't really help, couldn't really help it. You know, I'm an orphan. I'm a true orphan of these streets, kid. I don't know who my parents are or anything, you know? So, man, I was running from the cops, running from fucking child welfare services, running, you know, just basically out here on the streets. And if it wasn't for riding, um, I really wouldn't even be here right now. So, man, writing plays a part in everything I fucking do. Hip-hop plays a part in everything I do. I fucking pee hip-hop, kid. Straight up and down. It's like that. It's, it's just too inbreded in what I do. <laughs>